Hello and welcome to another episode of Getting Into Good Oxide. What you're looking at is Jigs and Git cloning the kernel, the Linux kernel from kernel.org. And it's now speeding up here at eight times the, the normal speed. So that this ends <laughs> a bit faster. You will see that Git is actually able to finish faster for some reason. I don't know if that was just a lucky one or if there's anything it's doing that's making transfers faster. Both use curl, so probably it's just coincidence. And because that's happening, Git is now already resolving objects while Jix is still uh, fetching data. So resolving objects or resolving deltas is a very time-consuming process as we'll have to decompress all the 10 millions or more than 90 gigabyte of data. And uh, this requires it to decompress them, which is costly, zlib is costly, and it hashes them to build an index file from that pack. So pack must be fully decompressed, which is a good idea as it requires you to basically validate the pack a little bit and uh, create the index file from it, which makes it usable. And that allows you then to finish up the clone by checking out the data. So Jix is still busy transferring and Git is nearly done. So that's gonna be a tough race. Oh, now, now Jix caught up and it's sorting IDs. That's uh, quite a small, uh, yeah, and it's done. So checked out everything. Uh, it's a 32 core machine and that really scales well with, with uh, Jix, whereas, or Git Oxide, whereas Git only uses three cores instead of 32. So it takes much longer.